This conference will now be recorded. So in previous session, we understood there are two different classes generated from my WSQL in the client at client org. So now let's see, I want to invoke my SOAP call or that web service method I want to invoke from my client to the server. If you if you uh, think the example what we're talking. So now from this client to server, I want to create the different lead what I have explained previously. So I have different client applications. Now I have another self source application as a server where I have exposed my web server web service lead manager and that web service going to be consumed by my client and uh, through that we still which we have said now with that integration this clients going to invoke my swap call to my Salesforce server to create the lead record. Now let's see how they are going to invoke my SOAP call. So uh, the WSTL what we have generated that we have shared and from the WSTL now we are able to create the Apex classes in my client. Now when you able to create the Apex classes we have seen Salesforce auto generated two Apex classes and now from these auto generated two Apex classes one for synchronous services one for asynchronous services and now we'll see how I'm going to uh, invoke that methods to do that let's start programmatically and we'll see you what are the things going to happen if you see uh, whenever I have this Apex classes let me go to my list of classes what we have created on my client org. if I go to Apex classes so there is two class I have swap lead manager and async swap lead manager so I'm going to open my developer console and here I'll open my class swap lead manager I want to make a synchronous call okay I'm just going to close everything what else we have so now this class is my swap lead manager apex so now I want to make invocation to my API call. I don't know what other things need to take care. So we will implement step by step. If I want to invoke, what are the consideration I have to take care? We'll see. And uh, when I'm invoking, what kind of error coming? And for that error, what kind of changes I need to do on my client or that we'll see. So if you see this small class, what we get from this C, we still so there is one uh class with my uh, service name nothing but you can see lead manager manager class so in this lead manager class which i explained in my previous session this is my endpoint what i want to invoke and now if you see there is a method called create new build i have to call this method i have to pass these parameters okay then that parameters once we pass then we have one web service callout invoke method so this method basically uh, going to initiate or going to invoke my web service call to the endpoint defined for the method or for the operation create new lead and to that we are going to pass pass this is my request parameters and we are going to get response as a response uh, x you can see here so now we'll see how this invocation happens from client or how I am going to set this. That's what we'll see quickly. And uh, while we're doing this invocation, what kind of error we may get and how I am going to resolve. So uh, let's, I'm doing this from my uh, developer console. Okay, so now I open my execute anonymous window. I'm just closing all other things. So now I want to invoke what I want to invoke the method called as create new lead method. So this method is part of uh, which class? This method is a part of lead manager class. So lead manager class object I have to create. That means first step I have to follow. Okay, let's consider this is a step one. I have to instantiate my service class. So what is my service class? Lead manager. If you remember my 
we still you can see my service name is nothing but lead manager okay then inside this i have a i have an operation which is called create new lead so i have to instantiate my service class first so now my service class is a nested class inside my soap lead manager that means when i want to instantiate my service class i can instantiate like this uh, my main class soap lead manager then my service class dot to lead manager let's consider i gave name as lm service for example so now i am going to instantiate it okay simply i just said uh, new and this let me maximize little so that you will you will see the code and my anonymous window together so i just instantiate my class here okay so now i have to call this method so when i want to call this method what i can do i can use my object name dot my method name okay so i just set my method name so with this method when i want to call i have to pass parameter first name last name company name and lead email and lead code so i can do that let me see what i am going to do here so i set my parameter as the basis parameter as jenna let's see i want to set my email as something here and my uh, company name i want to set as let's consider ss enterprise and uh, let's uh, set my email and phone let's phone i am going to set this one so i set my first name i set last name company name email and phone okay i don't know what other things need to take care so simply i'll make a invocation when i'm going to invoke what will happen in the back end so when we call this method this method going to invoke my web service call out to where to a particular endpoint what is my endpoint if you see the endpoint it's nothing but defined here to this server my call will go when the call is going to this server what going to what they are going to do there so they are going to invoke my create new lead and there i have my request parameter you can see first name last name company email phone and this request i am going to pass completely okay then what i am going to get i am going to get response from them okay so at this endpoint, I have this operation to where I'm going to pass this request and going to invoke. There are some prerequisites to you have to take care, but I want to show the errors, then you will understand what is happening. So now when I'm trying to execute, I click on execute. What is happening? So now it's saying, see, there is some kind of call out exception happens. First thing, what is this? So it's saying on authorized endpoint. So the endpoint, what I'm going to call to which external service i want to call that is that is not authorized to us that's absolutely fine so there is a concept we call remote side setting so whenever you want to communicate to external service or any external website or any anywhere outside my application using soap calls or using a rest call so that remote site or external site we have to authorize in my salesforce so how we can do so this endpoint what i have it is a, a external site which is not authorized so to authorize you have to make an entry on my remote site setting so this is my prerequisite. to you whenever you want to make any invocation first you have to add the endpoint in the remote side setting so now i went to remote side setting go to the setup from setup you just search remote under the security you can get remote side setting then click on new remote site then what is the endpoint to define here and let's say i am just giving the name as lead manager okay then you make click on active if you want protocol layer to be disabled you can uncheck it okay 
So if you select this checkbox, then it will allow S control to access this remote site regardless of HTTP or HTTPS. So if you want to disable protocol security, you can check it. So I'm, I'm not disabling. I want protocol security to be implemented. Simply I click on set. So now my remote site setting there. Perfect. So now if you see here, I will make the invocation of this call again. So I will get some different kind of error. So what is that error we'll see? Let me execute and see what is happening. So now it's saying uh, I made some call out, but I am going to get some kind of call out exception. So what is this? So web service call out failed because it's going to return a so fault invalid session ID. That means what is going to happen here? As I said, I am going to connect between two systems. Let me see here. I'm going to connect between two systems when I initiate my call to my server Let's consider from here instead of account. Let's consider. I'm going to create a lead the example what I'm taking So now when I pass my lead information to my cell phone server I am just going to call here. I reach here. So this is my server. This is my client my server need to know who is the client trying to create a lead record on my system are they authorized or are they have appropriate permission to do it so we have to authenticate the user or we have to come with a particular session information okay i have a valid session using that session i can do it it means if i will call you and i will tell hey bro give me one book so if you don't know me, you are not going to give me anything. So if you know me, if you identify me, then you can give something from your side. You can you can give a response to me. Same thing. When two system integrating, so I need to authorize or I need to authenticate uh, each call what I am going to make to server. So now here you see when I made a call. I didn't authorize anything just simply I pass invoke method with my request parameters Then my server return a call out exception web service call out failed with Invalid session so saying there is no session information I don't know who are you and coming to create or coming to access my Server here, so I don't know you I cannot accept your call So I am throwing a exception so now let's see in the next session how I am going to handle it, how I am going to create a session information. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next session.